Watch this. What is that? The coil? What's up, Vape fam? It's Dave from Married to the Mod, and today we're going to be checking out the Fangu from Kanger Tech. It's their new tank. I've been using it a few days now, and there's some innovative stuff with it. Some, one thing that's really weird is that the coil actually comes up out of the tank, and this is the drip tip here, but there's your coil. That's actually your coil, which I'm going to show you more when we get down low. Before we do get down low though, I want to tell you some specs. It's going to be a 22 millimeter Addy. It's going to be 47 millimeters from the base to the very top of the drip tip here. It's going to hold 3.5 milliliters of e-juice. It has top fill. It has juice flow control, no airflow control. What you, what you see is what you get with this one when it comes to the airflow. It's got some uh, what they're calling clean hands coil replacement system, which I'll show you when we drop down to the table also. And, uh, you know, it comes with a uh, mouth to lung coil, a 1.5 ohm nichrome coil, and, a, and also a direct lung, a 0.5 ohm stainless steel coil. All this stuff I'm going to kind of show you when we get down to the table. But, you know, I the flavor has been really, really good off of this. It, it's kind of resemblant of the Cleto. But there's some big differences from the Cleto to this. Obviously, different company, different some differences. But um, the flavor, I guess is what I really should say, is kind of um, kind of reminds me of the Cleto. It is really, really decent flavor. So let's go ahead. Let's... um. Let me take a vape and uh, we'll drop down to the table here. All right, so we're back with you down low, and here is the packaging for the Fangu. You can see it says sample, not for sale, Fangu. On the side here, it'll say Kanger Tech. On the bottom here, you can see it comes in white, silver, or black. I have the silver one going to tell you what this kit contains which I will go over some cautionary stuff about it in the package you will receive one user manual look at all those directions you're going to get an extra piece of Pyrex glass along with all these o-rings you will get a spare 1.5 ohm nichrome coil and it does have some writing on it here I know it's hard to, hard to see there but I'll show you them uh, more up close, but look at them, they look like a cardamizer. And you'll receive the Fangu tank. Now, starting at the top, this is a 22 millimeter Addy, and you can see that little metal ring in there. That's actually your coil. So if you pop your drip tip off here, that's the actual coil. And you can look right down, very similar to the Cleto, where your coil is actually your chimney. Working our way down, this is going to be top fill, which we'll, we'll go over in a minute. Not too many pieces to this. You do have some wicking holes, and I left some e-liquid in here for a reason, and I will show you that reason in just a minute. You have two airflow holes here. There is no airflow control on this, however. And then on the bottom here, it's going to say designed and manufactured by Kanger. Now you can see how this inside piece, there's like this ring on the outside. There's a reason for that, which we'll go over, of course, but. The reason being is that this whole tank is going to turn when it's on, when it's sitting on on your mod like so this whole tank is going to turn like an airflow control would but it doesn't change your airflow the airflow stays the same what that actually does is change your juice flow okay so the first part of innovation to this tank the coil now if you want to change your coil like i said i left some juice in there for a reason you're going to pop your drip tip off you're going to turn this tank upside down like so, so that no e-liquid is past those holes right there. You can see that wicking hole there, 
and there's a wicking hole on this side as well and you're just gonna grab the coil here and unscrew it like this now when it's unscrewed all the way it's simply gonna pull out and that right there is your 0.5 stainless steel coil now here's the writing on your stainless steel coil you can see there it says S316L on the other side it will say Kangertech 0.5 ohm 15 to 50 watts then here's your other coil it'll say Kangertech NC for nichrome 1.5 ohm and this will be from 10 to 26 watts alright so with the coil out you can see you can see right through that juice flow control there see right down in it right down actually to uh, your 510 pin right there now as I was saying there's not too many parts you do have your coil which looks like a cardamizer and you have some decent sized air holes there with there's two wicking holes on that now the tank as I was saying it is top fill the top does have a little bit of knurling here you're just gonna unscrew that like so and it is tight on there because this is this o-ring here is very tight but that'll pop off and there's your top cap then you have your Pyrex glass then this is your whole base section now this bottom piece I've tried to get it off it doesn't come off at all it's all one piece there I do believe and that's gonna be the whole base section it does say Kanger Tech on it and on the other side you have a it says off there so I think it's just to show you your juice flow control now if that's all silver in there when when it that'll show that it's off So if I take a coil, there's a little O-ring inside there that holds that coil in tight and it slides in like so. You can see it there through the juice flow and then just kind of turns, screws in. Just to show you a little bit better of a look down the coil there, you can see your wire your organic cotton now you don't have to put the coil in now obviously you can leave the coil out but I was just doing that to show you your glass is gonna go back over it like so then you're gonna have your top cap which will go right over the coil catch on the on the threading right there on the inside of the ch or actually the outside of the chimney chimney that would be and that just kind of screws down like so one more cool thing I wanted to show you before we jump out is that you can see what the coil is by taking the drip tip off so the drip tip is actually going to be a Delrin drip tip and it's going to fit right over the coil has an o-ring on the bottom of it right there and it just kind of push fits into there pops on and off really easily but it is tight enough to hold it down and you can see actually what coil it is you can tell I have the 0.5 in there now when the tank is on a mod let's see uh, there's a the juice flow hole and you can see it's off there now to turn it on you're gonna turn this entire tank and the entire even the airflow everything is going to turn and you'll see it'll turn on there and then you can keep turning it and it's off and there is a, a stopper there this does not change the airflow on the tank you can see the airflow does move and you'll see some parts in there moving but the airflow stays the exact same when the tank is set like this or when it's like this it's going to be open right in the middle and then both of the ends where the stoppers are it's going to be off so
So yeah, some pretty cool innovative stuff. Let's go ahead and jump out. I'll talk about the pros and cons, and then we'll get out of here. All right, guys, so we're back with you up top. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill it, and I'm going to try and do it from up here in FaceTime. To fill it, you're going to take the drip tip off, like so. Then you're going to unscrew this top cap. And yes, you have to take the drip tip off to take the top cap off. Now, you can see there, it'll turn, so you're going to have to, you basically have to close down that juice flow. You're going to want to turn it all the way to the right, the juice flow will close off, and then it kind of locks so the tank won't move anymore, and then you can continue to unscrew that top cap like so. Take that off, 3.5 milliliters of juice. like so top caps gonna go back on now when you're screwing it on this is the thing you want to keep that juice flow off so when you're screwing that top cap back on you want to make sure you're holding this base while you screw that top pack cap back on drip tip on then you can go ahead and turn the entire tank the juice flow will open up and you're good to go so I got it set at 47 watts this coil is reading 0.56 it is a stainless steel coil you can use it in temp control one thing I'm noticing about these coils is that in temp control they seem to heat up really, really fast. Now, I don't know what the reason is for that. I don't have an extra coil to take apart. But I am noticing they're heating up really, really fast, and it's kind of throwing off the temp control, in, uh, in my opinion. But this is regular wattage mode, 47 watts. Let's have a vape. I was really impressed at the clouds. Now, you're not going to be blowing plumes for days with this thing, but... I was very impressed with the clouds I was getting off of this. Again, the flavor is excellent off of this. Something having to do with those coils when they are the same, when the coil is also the chimney, it seems to improve the flavor. The Cletos flavor was excellent on it, and I think that's pretty much what's having to do with it there. Let me have another vape. Really, really good vape. So as far as pros... The flavor, that's number one in my book. Um, of course, I, I mean, when you vape, I'm, I'm not necessarily a flavor chaser or a cloud chaser. I like good flavor and I like big clouds, so I guess I'm a both kind of chaser. But um, the flavor is number one pro in my book. Number two, this thing, a tank, I filled the tank up, 3.5 milliliters, and it lasted me half the day. And I vape, you know, not a ton, but quite a bit. I, I vape where I work, so so I can vape while I work, and it pretty much lasted me all day long. Number three, pro, top fill. I guess that's still a pro, even though every single tank has it. That is a pro to me. Um, I haven't had any problem with wicking. So the wicking, that's a pro to me as well. I guess I can label these as pros, even though that they're kind of normal things that happen with tanks. Now, there is a few cons with it. You're not going to be able to use your own 510 drip tip, being that when you take this drip tip off, you have that big coil there. You can't use a 510 drip tip at all. You're kind of stuck using this drip tip. Another con huge huge con in my uh, in my book is the airflow control now this is a restricted type of draw let me see if uh, if you can hear it it's a restricted draw now I'm gonna change it and I'm gonna turn this tank while I hit it just so that you can hear the the steadiness of the air so that you know that the airflow isn't changing at all It's just the same steady airflow, whether that juice flow control is wide open or shut. Same thing. So those are the two really, really big cons. Um, the coils seem to be lasting a decent amount of time. The, uh, the mouth-to-lung coil that I used was, it's not, 
a mouth to lung hit. It's kind of in between. With the airflow being the way that it is, you can't really close it down to get more of that mouth to lung hit. The coil, the diameter on that other mouth to lung coil is just pretty, it's, it's very small. And um, it's, it's probably, I don't know, maybe one millimeter big, the airflow. The cotton is kind of packed in there. It's really hard to show on film. That's the reason that I didn't. But, um, yeah, so mouth to lung hit, nah. They call it a mouth to lung coil. I guess you can try and use it, but it's kind of a half in between. Half mouth, half mouth to lung, half direct lung hit. Um, but, yeah, that's that's for that. That's about it on the pros and cons. Um, the aesthetics of the tank, I think, look very, very cool. Very, um, again, like the Cleto. Very much like the Cleto. Uh, but I, I, I'm raving about the flavor on this thing. I was really, really surprised. When I looked at the tank originally, I thought, eh, you know, oh, you know what? There is one more pro. The fact that you can change your coil on the fly really fast that's a huge pro and i almost forgot to mention it you want to change your coil you just simply take that drip tip off turn it upside down turn that coil like so the coil will straight up slide right out and you can put a new coil in there make sure you turn that tank upside down if you don't you hold it this way that juice is going to go rushing through that hole where the juice flow is because when you do take that coil out you also take out the juice flow control. So make sure you turn that upside down if you go to change that coil. Now at the same time of that being a pro, I wish that they would have put some kind of knurling or something on the top of this coil here because it's just straight up flat metal. So when you try and get a hold of it, it's, it's a, like I can't even turn it right now. I can't even get a grip on it to turn it like this. So I wish that they would definitely put some, some knurling or something to, to be able to grab onto up here. So do I recommend this tank? Yes, I do. Based on the flavor, this tank, I, I highly recommend it. The flavor is very impressive. Clouds are decent off of it. There's some cool innovative things that make it easier to work with. I wish they would put some knurling on that coil, like I said before. And if they did, I would recommend it even more. But as it sits, I do recommend this tank. Now, as far as finding it, it's not really out yet. I think Kanger has it on their... Actually, I know Kanger has it on their website for $19.80, but that's under a pre-order. I don't know the actual release date of it, but as I do start to see it come out and on these sites, I will try and throw a link in the description below for where you guys can find it. And I want to say thank you to everyone out there who's hitting that subscribe button. Um, if you do like this video, please hit that subscribe button. We're going to have lots more content like this coming up. I got a big 1K uh, giveaway that I'm going to be announcing here very soon. And uh, remember, fight for your right to vape. There's a link for Kassad.org down there. Everyone's got to do their part. It's no more a. Uh, it's no longer an option of whether you want to or you don't want to do. You fight for your right with some advocacy. You kind of have to now to keep vaping around. So until next time, guys, remember, vape together, stay together.